Welcome to Vufal Life with Vivek Raj Shiva Ray. The words of wisdom from an enlightened master. This is your place to experience life to its fullest. Get ready. As we dive in. Question asked by Virginia. All my life I have been following a religion. I don't want to mention the name of the religion I am following, but as I am getting old, the fear of what will happen next, when I die, bothers me more and more. I think, I am a true believer of God, and the religion I follow is the only true religion. Vufa, can you please shed some light on false versus a true religion? All religions are false. If you are a follower of religion, you have put your trust into something that is false and hopeless. You may think that you are a true believer. You are a true follower. But I'm sorry to break this to you, that you too are a false believer. Why do I say that? I say that because you can only believe what you know. If you don't know, you cannot believe. And if you cannot believe, no matter what you follow is all going to be false. So, let me ask you. Do you know God? If you say you do, then you definitely don't know anything. To know God will mean knowing the entire existence, knowing the cosmos, things that is beyond your imagination. And if you say that you don't know who or what is God, then you definitely are not a true believer. Because what you don't know, you certainly cannot believe. Believing comes from knowing. This is the reason why when you start to get old and you see that your end is near, you start questioning everything. Because all your life, you never bothered about knowing and you thought you knew. Because you were part of a religion and whatever religion told you, you followed it without questioning. You lied to yourself and behaved naive because maybe you didn't have the time and you were too busy with your life that you didn't have the time to search for answers and clarify the doubts within. Or maybe religion was imposed on to you from your elders or you became religious because of a trauma that happened in your life that didn't give you the time to even question. But hey, I hate to break this. All religions are false. Let me give you a simple example. If you have never tasted sugar, you don't know how sugar tastes like, will you feel comfortable in saying that you believe in sugar more than salt? Because you heard from everyone else that sugar tastes better Will you simply go ahead without tasting or knowing it yourself to a self-claimed false conclusion that sugar is better? And will you be comfortable to start believing in your own lies? Or a lie that people believe in? You may have heard about the story of a group of blind men who have never come across an elephant before and who learn and imagine what the elephant is like by touching it. Each blind man feels a different part of the body of the elephant by touching it, but only one part. 
such as the side or the legs or the trunk or the tusk they then describe the elephant based on their limited knowing by one claiming that an elephant is like a giant thick pole based on the leg he touched the other describes the elephant like a giant hollow pipe based on the trunk and so on and each of their descriptions of the elephant are different from each other they all suspect that the other person is dishonest now is that any different from your religions where christians think different from muslims hindus from buddhist jewish from jainas now would you call that knowing an elephant now even if these blind men starts to believe that they know elephant would you agree with them that's what has been happening where you have been believing what was told to you by such blind men and that is the reason why we have so many religions each religion has its own version of the elephant or the so called god religions are nothing but like shops in a mall each shop has its one top selling product that is their version of god or messenger or deity then it has its accessories to sell such as books beads clothes statues ceremonies rituals etc then each shopkeeper which is like the priest imam or pandit tries to sell you on that one best told story to increase membership by showing you the features and benefits of joining almost like a subscription product now it's all up to you which product you end up buying meaning the god you end up believing or the religion you end up following but remember before buying or believing there is a small disclaimer that goes underneath and the disclaimer says that if you buy a product or in their terms believe in the one and the true religion and its god from any of these shops without knowing about the product without actually knowing what it is then you are bound to be doomed and there will be no refunds isn't that funny i'm sure that other than religion everything else you do in your life you first start with a doubt because knowing cannot happen if there is no doubt Your urge to know comes from a place of not knowing and doubts and when you find the answers yourself you become a believer of what you have experienced in your journey of knowing Your priests pundits and imams for centuries have been playing very smart to fill their pockets by making you believe that you know a lie going on since the inception of religion their highest selling promotional statement is that to have faith meaning forget about believing or even knowing just have faith the word faith has been wrongly used by religions to manipulate you It's like going to the same mall and they just want you to buy. Don't question any of the products. Just have faith and buy. Would you be comfortable doing that in your real life? In a real mall with electronics or kitchen items? In real life, you would like to see some honest reviews and talk to people who have used the product. learn about their experiences with the product but with the religion any review any testimony you will find is self-induced 
dishonesty from people like yourself who believed without questioning and now they are sharing their experiences with you. That's why you are doomed if you follow any religion. Now don't think I'm telling you to become an atheist. But whatever you choose to be, you should know the truth because you asked me about the true religion. Understand that a believer and an atheist are carbon copy of each other. Like when you believe in one religion, all other religions become false for you. Opposite to that, similar is the condition with the people who are atheist. They don't believe in God or any religion and therefore all gods and religions become false for them. But an atheist is more honest than you. An atheist is more honest than a believer or a follower of a religion. Because you started believing without questioning, doubting and knowing. You have been lied to and you lied to yourself too. And you know it in your heart. That's why there is no salvation for you. Whereas at least an atheist, on the other hand, is honest. I'm talking about a true atheist, not some person who is just ignorant about religion and God. Ignorant people are not atheists. So do not confuse. True atheists start their journey by questioning themselves, the people around, tests, and comes to a conclusion that they didn't see any usefulness of religion and they didn't find God either. They go an extra mile to question a pre-existing concept and therefore when a true atheist starts to believe, it becomes faith. That is beyond believing. Yes, faith that is beyond believing. Why? Because a true atheist walks alone and finds its own path. Whereas you and your faith is a delusional state of believing where you have not known nothing but have fantasized God and religion. You have no idea what tricks your mind can play sometimes. I say that an atheist can have faith, but a religious person can never have faith. An atheist, when turns into believing, becomes a true believer. When it starts to have faith, has true faith. Because an atheist goes that extra mile questioning, self-doubting and finds the answer. An atheist starts the journey with complete honesty and starts to climb the mountain with self-doubting, questioning everything that comes in its path. And when he or she reaches the top of the mountain, the only thing left is to fall in the deepest of existence where only faith can exist. But look at you. You just bought an item at the mall and ignored the rest. Touched one part of the elephant and ignored the rest. You never questioned, so you never have known. And the way religion played with the word faith, you have no idea what faith is all about. You have never experienced faith. Let me tell you that faith is for the brave and not for the cowards like you. If you have never known, you cannot believe. And faith requires no proof, but it requires honesty. And do you think you have been honest to yourself? Well, 
dive deep inside yourself and you will know how much of your believing was about knowing. How much did you question and if you ever got a straight answer? Most people are cowards because they choose to believe without knowing. Because knowing takes time and hard work. Simply believing in what others are saying seems to be an easy way every weak person tends to follow. There have been over 5000 religions and each one sold you on their version. But instead of finding your own path, you relied on someone else's path. Have you seen children? They question everything. They are true to themselves and question before believing. They give you straight answers. They are all atheists. You were once an atheist. An innocent child without the tag of being called an atheist. You had faith in everything. You didn't have to know or believe. You just had faith. Like you had faith in your mom. You had faith in your dad. You had faith in the toys you used to play with. You just had faith in everything. All because you were true and innocent. That's why Bible says that unless you are like a child, you can never enter the kingdom of God. Why? Because you must have faith. But here is what went wrong. Religion put the word faith in a whole different context of being religious and then having faith, which is a contradiction to being a child. Because, like I said, children are atheists until manipulated. When you take any child to a church or a temple, they always ask, What is it? Why are we here? Who is that? Who is that statue? Why are you bowing down? Why this? Why that? And you being a parent simply impose conditions on them to do as told without questioning. And that is the moment when they look at you and say inside themselves, What the hell? Something is definitely wrong with my parents. But by imposing such conditions, you kill their freedom to search for their own answers. You condition them by repeated act of going to church, doing religious rituals, ceremonies, that they soon forget that what they doubted at the beginning of their religious journey was buried under the lie of believing without questioning. You being born in a certain religious family does not mean that you are religious by birth or are born religious. Children do not have any religion, caste or creed. We all are born equal. We all are the seed of opportunity that wants to explore and experience the human phenomena. This is the reason whether a child is born in a Christian family, Hindu family, Muslim family, Jewish, they all have the same doubt about religion. Because at a very early stage of your life, you have been manipulated. You were lied. Now if I look at you today, you have already lost a lot of time. You will keep on losing more if you don't start being honest to yourself. But I'm happy as well that you have started doubting because questions like true religion versus false religion only comes in mind when you yourself is not satisfied with the religion that you follow. Now don't waste any more time in your life. Work on these doubts. Find your own path. Don't be a follower. And know that you don't have to believe in anything. 
The only way to start believing in something is by knowing and your doubt is the first step. You don't need the so-called religions, the stretchers to carry you all the time. Get up and start walking on your own feet. You don't need the legs of religion and any preconceived concepts. Because all this has confused you enough. I want you to have clarity in your mind. See through and start your journey today. For listening to me with such great spirit. I am full of gratitude. Visit us at boofalife.com. That is V O O F A life.com and become part of the Bufa family today.